Yo, for those that haven't seen, Little Dirk was arrested a couple days ago, October 25th to be exact, which I believe the date was October 25th. This was insane to me because I was up at Universal Studios at Halloween Horror Nights having a great day. I I went there, I went from Miami to Orlando, from Orlando to Tampa, back to Miami. We did three parties in three cities to do a dope vlog for the channel. And as I'm doing all this, I start seeing my phone go crazy. Everybody starts telling me about the little Dirk. I start seeing all the blogs, everyone talking about little Dirk was arrested, him trying to flee the country, just a whole lot of stuff going on. And I feel like every time I'm away from my recording studio, something wild happens. Literally never fails. It never fails. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Share your thoughts. At 10,000 subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. If you guys haven't checked out some of the unboxings I've done on this channel, go check those out. We actually just uploaded one an hour ago regarding the free Thugger hoodie. How ironic. Now we need a free Dirk, yo. Like, this is crazy. Free Smirk. Like, oh my God. I can't even keep up with the merch. But we will be giving away an unboxing at 10,000 subscribers. We're going to unbox on this channel and give it away. And if you're wondering how you can win that, all you got to do is follow me on social media. I'll give more information on what you have to do closer to time at 9,000 subscribers. For now, all you have to do is just subscribe to the channel, follow me on IG, and I will be posting on my Instagram story more information. But little Dirk, oh, it's killing me. I was just posting on my IG, I think October 4th, if I still got that screenshot, that he's one of the greatest Chicago musicians ever. I think he's the greatest drill rapper from Chicago ever. Again, Kanye is probably my favorite act in hip hop history. He's from Chicago, but I'm talking about the drill scene, the Chief Keefs, the Lil Reese, the biggest one. But let's get further into what happened. So we visited Forbes, which they did an article, Little Dirk Arrests, what we know about rappers' alleged involvement in murder for hire plot. If you remember what happened in Los Angeles outside of the Beverly Center with a little Pat Quando Rondo in that infamous video. Sad to see. Sad to see. Again, we're not on either side of the beef because we're not related to Vaughn nor we're related to Pat. But it's just sad to see a young man that young crying over his cousin who lost his life at 23 years old. Which is on for three people who police say shot at a Savannah rapper killing a member of his entourage. It happened in Los Angeles and cameras captured the aftermath. Shots fired, a fight taken to the streets, and this chaotic scene, the ending of a shooting that started in Los Angeles, California. Sheriff's deputies pulling out a man who had been shot in an SUV. Savannah rapper Quando Rondo, a passenger in that car, frantic at the site. It all started at this mobile gas station at 5.30 Friday evening. LAPD says witnesses heard multiple gunshots, then watched a couple cars zoom off. Three people in one car shot at this black Cadillac Escalade. It's unclear if those inside shot back. Can I get, can I get some space, please? It ended at Santa Monica Boulevard. Deputies found it peppered with bullet holes and a shattered window. One man inside, a member of Ronto's entourage, had been shot. A 23-year-old was taken to the hospital where he died. A scene left with remnants of the fight, shoes left in the street, doors flung open. The suspects still on the run. We still don't know what spurred it all, but LAPD says it started at a gas pump. The victim vehicle, uh, they pulled up, they were pumping gas. And it looks like they probably finished pumping gas and the suspects uh, approached from the alley, got out of the car and started shooting at those victims. Investigators are still trying to piece together details, but they're looking for a white four door sedan with suspects wearing dark clothing. Police helicopters overhead, so we knew something was up. People in the neighborhood shocked by the news. Disappointed. There have been a lot of a lot of incidents in the past in the past couple of years. It does seem that, it, that things have been happening more often on, on Melrose, you know, between Fairfax and Melrose and around here. According to TMZ, Rondo was not injured. There was allegedly a drive-by on the vehicle, and we never really got information on what happened. Yeah, no, Jumper Flacco talked a little bit about it. Uh, we saw people like Brick, which people are gonna, talking a lot about Brick on this. We're going to speak more about Brick regarding this Dirk arrest. A lot of people were saying, nah, it wasn't get back by little Dirk for Vaughn. Nah, nah, nah. It was just something that went wrong in L.A. between them when they was out there and business out there that just went wrong. Uh, I beg to differ. I beg to differ. Oh, you a bitch. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Sly for Vaughn, right? Yeah. They say you can't say that no more. Why? Oh, yeah, because of... Wait, no, wait, no, no. Like, they who died? you can't say that no more. Oh, because of FVG Cash? Oh, who? Nah, because Lil' Pop. Oh! What's that? But I'm just saying, they just say you can't say that no more. That's the new term on, like, no more Sly for Vaughn. 
because of Lil Pop. Now, after that incident, let's see what we know about the Little Dirk arrest. Once again, shout out to Forbes with this information that we shall go over. Chicago rapper Lil Dirk was arrested in Florida on Thursday on murder for higher charges. Following the arrests of five men affiliated with Lil Durk as only the family hip-hop collective who were also charged with murder for hire in a plot that allegedly targeted the rapper Quando Rondo as retaliation for the 2020 murder of rapper King Von, Lil Durk. 32, whose real name is Dirk Devante Banks, is being held in a jail in Broward County, Florida, following his Thursday arrest. According to Broward County arrest records, arrest records say Lil Dirk was arrested on murder for hire charges, but the exact nature of his involvement in an alleged murder for hire plot is unclear. Earlier Thursday, five men, Kevin London Grand, DeAndre Dontrell Wilson, Keith Jones, David Brian Lindsay and Asa Houston, whom prosecutors allege have ties to only the family, were arrested in Chicago and appeared at the Dirksen U.S. Courthouse, the Chicago Tribune reported. According to an indictment filed in the U.S. District Court in Los Angeles, charges against the five men include conspiracy to commit murder for hire resulting in death and the use of a machine gun resulting in death. Prosecutors allege the five men conspired in 2022 to kill rapper Quando Rondo as retaliation for a 2020 altercation between his crew and King Von's crew involving an exchange of gunfire that killed King Von, for which Quando Rondo's affiliate Timothy Lal Tim Leakes was charged with murder. Prosecutors say the five men traveled to Los Angeles to shoot and kill Quando Rondo in his car, but their gunfire instead killed his cousin, Saviai Robinson, known as Lal Pat, who was a passenger in the vehicle. Forbes has reached out to representatives for Lil Durk and attorneys for the five men arrested in Chicago. So before all this really popped off, they also arrested three other members of OTF, I believe like a week ago, two weeks ago. And they showed the mugshots here. Mugshot service of OTF Didi, OTF Vani, OTF Boogie. They have been arrested for the murder of Quando Rondo's friend, Little Pat. This is crazy. This is literally insane because this is going to continue developing. When they want to get you for Rico and hip hop, oh, they're going to get you. Oh, they're going to get you. And remember, we kept saying the Young Thug is not federal. It's a state Rico. We're like, it's not the same thing as a federal Rico. I believe, unless I'm incorrect, I'm like 95% sure that this is a federal Rico, not a state Rico. And that's a really, really, really big difference. A big, huge difference. We talked about it in so many videos already regarding the Young Thug YSL Rico, comparing the difference with a state Rico and a federal Rico. If you guys don't know the difference, I suggest you look it up. But a state Rico is a lot easier to beat than a federal Rico. One more mugshot that we don't see. There's one more mugshot that plays a huge role in all of this that we do not see sitting right here. And that's the OTF member that everyone's actually saying snitched on Dirk. Snitch on, we're Dirk. OTF member, what do you mean? Oh, what do you mean? They saying that OTF Jam requested a Big Mac, a quarter pounder, and an extra large order of fries in that interrogation room, and he had to drop on somebody. I've even seen other alleged claims, which I'll try to see if I can find the blog that posted, but people are saying that he might have even wore a mic with Finn, his chain, if I remember correctly. Like, yo, this is getting insane. And yes, this is the same OTF Jam that we've heard multiple times by Dirk. Talking about he gave him $50,000 when he released out of prison in that song featuring King Bond. If you guys haven't heard it prior, I'll try to show the snippet here. If it's not taken down due to copyrights, I'll leave it on. But Lord, he gets out of jail after doing 12 year bid and you're there to give him 50 bands and all that and start shouting out OTF Jam and all your music and bring him around the label. And allegedly they're saying that OTF Jam was caught with a weapon about to get brought back to jail. Or, or you could probably help us with a little something. Like if you guys ever watched The Matrix, I'm picturing Mr. Anderson. No, actually that was Agent Smith. Mr. Anderson was Neo. Agent Smith, when they in there, when they in there with Morpheus, but it just trust me, I feel like it took a lot less punches to get OTF Jam to talk. Yo, shout out to Act for those that haven't seen his mugshot. So this is the mugshot right here from OTF Jam. Now is this him being arrested now, or is this a previous arrest? I'm not too sure. The day he was caught with the gun again, I am not 100% sure. But this is OTF Jam. Academics wrote numerous numerous reports online are suggesting that another OTF affiliate, OTF Jam may have worn a wire in the case involving Dirk and others. He reportedly served a 12-year sentence in prison and came home and then got booked shortly on a gun right after allegedly Dirk gave him 50000 as a coming home gift. So you see, same thing I'm hearing, that he got booked after coming home due to a gun charge. Right. Right. <laughs> 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 
Bro made it. Right. He made it with me. Your fifty in your accident. Nah, my boy Dirk gave this man a box logo supreme hoodie from his closet that he probably hasn't worn. Fifty bands. Come on, son. And you the first one talking. This is why people say the streets is dead. This is why people say the streets is dead. This is why we so you mess with me, nigga. I'm the worst. Cause I'm ready to fight. I'm ready to shoot. And if I lose that both, nigga, I'm calling the twelve. I am calling the I went to college, nigga. I pay taxes every day. I, I do a W two and a ten ninety nine. I got two tax forms at the end of the year. I'm definitely, definitely putting your ass away. But now if I do a crime with you, brother, and we sign up for this together, that's what breaks my heart. Because people know with me, if I ain't feeling comfortable with some shit y'all doing, I'm like, yo, drop me off. Because if we get pinched, y'all niggas going to get, y'all niggas going to get a call like, yo, they caught us. Yeah, they got us. Come outside. They caught us. What, what you mean? Nah, they at my crib right now. I told them that I was going to give all of y'all a call to pull up. Yeah, man, leave my ass at home. But somebody like OTF Jam's the worst. Because he going to go outside, act like Tupac should call, and then when it goes wrong, he the first one talking. That's disgusting. Jam right here was stacked some money that I know he didn't work for nor perform for. Actually, we can't say didn't work for because that's what that's what this Rico's on. Dirk in the cut, throwing up the fangers. You know what's crazy? All my friends also went to school and lived in really good neighborhoods. And I had some of these niggas tell me they'll die for me. They'll never snitch. But these are... These, these these are heathens. These are these are criminals. These are killers. These are old blockians. Shout out to J Main. And they talking. And I've seen a lot of gangsters talk. A lot of them. Like the ones that rest in peace, my man's young Dolph. We did that video. But we even seen some of them turn to Chatty Patty. And you think my friends that played high school sports and some of them went to like charter schools not talking? They not talking. They not talking because they just gonna play play on the recording. Like, oh no, nah, no, nah, I wore the wire already. Like, a wire? We haven't even talked to you yet. No, but I knew this day might come, so I always had my phone on record when I was chilling with him just for this. Look, 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 hear this. Play. That's what happened to my ass is why. <laughs> with me, you don't gotta worry about no crime. There's the verse right here when uh Lil Dirk talks about giving him the 50 racks and the Von song. <laughs> Was catching murders way back then uh, I guess I guess Dirk you made it hot for yourself my nigga like I got Michael Myers in the cut with me and you thinking Michael Myers not gonna talk you think he want to do another 12 you think that nigga want to do another 12 come on son and it's one of the last things we want to cover in this video but if you guys didn't see this Twitter account going viral because they were giving us updates about the Chicago about the Chicago rapper known as little Dirk People were saying that he was planning on taking a private jet on a world tour, not not to perform. I guess, I don't know what the point was, maybe to mess up the cops, but he was supposed to go to Italy. I read Dubai. Some other people said Portugal. I was like, oh, nah. This nigga booked a cruise. We were about to see Lil Durk on a cruise. Chicago rapper Lil Durk planned to take a private jet to Italy after his associates were arrested in a murder for hire pot plot. The feds say now Dirk is in custody in Florida, charged with putting a monetary bounty out for the killing of a rival. I read that he wasn't even supposed to get arrested the day he got arrested. He was supposed to get arrested at his birthday bash. But the cops saw that he was trying to flee off in a private jet, allegedly, so that's why they strike. In banks charging documents, federal investigators said witness and and slash or their family members have already received threats and or have been contacted in, a, in what appears to be attempted to influence their participant their participation in this investigation so basically this is not looking good either because that's gonna be hard for him to get a bail remember the reason diddy didn't get a bail other than being weird was because they were saying that he's gonna mess and try to like scare off you know everybody trying to testify against dirt they saying dirt got hits on people they're trying to add two more bodies to dirt we talked just about little pat this gets way deeper we're gonna talk about another two that just got added to the dirt case but let's finish one thing there's just so much stuff going on Update, Chicago rapper plans to take it. All right, that's the one we read. I was the only reporter in Chicago's courtroom Thursday when five associates of Dirk, only the family, were brought in. Five, I'm not too sure who the other two were. Let me see if I can find their mug shots. Or oh, I'm assuming OTF Jam. The three that we showed. And was the other one Dirk? I was going to report in the show. No, because Dirk's in Florida. So I'm not sure who the other one is. If you guys happen to know their names, please list them all out down below. Prosecutors said that the charges carry a maximum of death if convicted. Oh, my God. And a mandatory minimum of 30 years. There's an, identif there's an identifying hearing for one defendant today. Imagine this is how the story ends for Dirk. Someone so musically talented, someone that's been blessed in the streets time after time, the voice, as he likes to call himself. I've never heard somebody else call him that, but he likes to call himself the voice. And I'm not arguing with a man that's on charge for Rico with multiple bodies. The voice is what you want me to call you? Bet. The voice. To see somebody like that just great like Dirk. I thought the biggest thing Dirk ever had to deal with in his life was sitting in the studio with French Montana during that Coke Boy era. I thought he already did his time. I thought he already did his time. That nigga was signed to Coke Boys. He already did his time. Dirk, say it ain't so. Say it ain't so. Dugga, Drake, and Drake's not even in jail, but basically put him in jail the way y'all treating Drake. Drake, and now Dirkio. Oh my God, man. My...
My Serato's getting real quiet, bro. My, my music gonna be on beat. Thank God Party Next Door gave us Party 4, because I'm still playing. Them. Tory Lanez gave us a, a... Tory Lanez gave us Lost Cost all over again. Days before the rodeo. See, I gotta stick to those kind of rappers, because these street... I'm telling you, bro. They just always get too big in their game, and they really turn to the Godfather. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Have you guys heard about the two additional deaths that they're trying to add to, allegedly, the Little Dirk? They're trying to add two more bodies to Dirk, and one of them is actually related. Because you see how when we just read... That they already got proof that some defendants, some people have been getting called and threatened. Like, yo, you help the investigators, you're going to get bodied. Allegedly, one of the dudes that is on this, that's allegedly helping them, already lost a family member. And we'll speak a little bit more about that in the next video. If you guys are more interested in that, let me know down below. Please share your thoughts. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below.